So what's up with the standard classic report? I'm sure you've, you've made one. Uh, it's just a basic way of displaying tabular data. And it has a few out of the box features that we can use such as uh, sorting and um, some other ways of kind of customizing how things are displayed. Um, and to most developers, it's not always as attractive uh, as an interactive report, right? Because if you just you know put a classic report side by side to an interactive report, from a developer's perspective, man, these interactive reports, they uh, have, have all the filtering that I want, uh, allow the end user to customize and save reports, and uh, you know they allow kind of this, I don't have to deal with the filtering, uh, it just gets all built in there. So why in the world would I choose to use a classic report over that? Uh, and hopefully I can show you, uh, I can uh, provide you a couple reasons as to why you might do that. Um, and kind of second to this, it's a little bit extra work for the developer to kind of bring this to life. So just very quickly, we're gonna go over a couple things that I think uh, help make uh, classic reports uh, kind of in the standard view a little more interesting. So we're gonna go ahead and, and head to a standard report. Uh, I'm gonna be using the EMP data set for pretty much all of this. I like to use the EMP data set because uh, it's just kind of familiar with, uh, it's kind of a familiar data set to most Oracle uh, developers. And um, I also like to include a null value just so we can see how things look in case uh, there is a null in a column. Uh, as you can see here, um, uh, this report looks okay. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to toggle this report uh, to where I'm actually I have two reports. One's hidden at the moment. Uh, I'm going to toggle this so the other one becomes displayed. Uh, it's pretty much the same information. I added one other column here, uh, but I want to point out a couple different declarative features that kind of you know really make uh, this uh, class report helpful. Uh, one thing that I want to point out here is notice that manager uh, is actually the name. Uh, same with department number. If I go back to the original report, we can see that manager uh, is just a, an employee number and department uh, is also just a department number. The other thing that I've, I've changed is I've customized the format mask of higher date. So we can see that uh, higher date is actually, you know, shows me since how long that has happened. And also just to kind of show you a little extra flavor, um, I added a little percent graph, uh, and this is basically uh, the ratio uh, to report function, which basically just shows the percentage of the salary that this particular employee uses um, relative to the total sum of all salaries. How do we do such a thing? Uh, well, let's just look at it. I'm gonna focus on a, a manager here first. I'm gonna go ahead and quick edit manager. And uh, clearly I must have done some sort of join or something to kind of translate that value, but actually there are no joins. If we go ahead and we look at this standard report, you can see that my data, oopsies, is uh, just strictly coming from EMP. There are no joins. Uh, I am using the uh, ratio to report function here just to kind of uh, get a percentage and I'm multiplying that by 100. So uh, it kind of it works with the uh, bar graph. Okay, so how exactly am I doing that lookup? Well, let's actually go ahead uh, and uh, look up the manager display column here. And we can see that it's based on a list of values. And if we scroll down just a bit, we can see that we are translating employee numbers to the employee name. So Apex will do kind of like this automatic resolution for you, uh, which takes the base data and then will translate it to something that the user would like to interact with. Um, there is a problem that sometimes arises when you choose to use this, uh, and that is uh, when you go to download the data, uh, it will download the employee name and not the employee number. Uh, one way that you can get around this uh, is you can use, uh, there's the I have two columns. I have the manager and the manager display. And uh, they basically just, only one of them can display at a time. And what I've done is, this is my uh, little PL SQL expression. I basically uh, said that if the request is not like, or, is, or sorry, is like flow Excel output, 
that means that there's been a request to actually download the data, uh, then use the manager column. And then kind of going off of that, you could see that I have the opposite here where it's not like flow Excel output, um, then go ahead and show the display value. So now the advantage of this is that the user can actually download the actual manager number, not the manager name, which is probably what they uh, need to use to upload or kind of leverage in whatever other system. The other thing uh, that I did here is in higher date, I just wanted to call this out because it's a, a awesome format that's unique to Apex and it's the since format. Uh, you can say since and uh, that'll actually do the calculation for you of how long it's been or how long until something will happen. Um, if you don't like the longer version, you can always say since underscore short and that'll actually give us a shorter version. Let me show you. Let's toggle this back and you can see that it just says why for a year uh, if you kind of want that shorter version. Um, but what's going on over here, this is kind of interesting. Uh, this is just a percent graph. Uh, I like to show this because it's, it just kind of illustrates that we can change how data is being uh, presented in our classic report. And quite simply, all I did was just change the type of column to percent graph. Pretty easy. Um, oh, it, it also makes the assumption that uh, it's going to contain a value between zero and 100. Uh, and so it's gonna con contain a percent and Apex will go ahead and display that information for us. Cool. So those are some declarative features that you, know, you can use to kind of customize uh, how information uh, is being presented.